Hi everybody, today I'm going to review the Mudila dog harness for your car. Comes in a two pack, I have two dogs, I want to see this product and how it works in the car. So let me open it up and see what's inside. So inside you'll find two identical harnesses. Um, so I'll just put one away and then look at one of them to give you a full review of it. So generally this has a hook for your dog leash area and then a, a lock into your car area and it has a flexible area that's made of strong bungee inside it it's pretty strong and a nylon area and an adjust, adjustable harness here with a, a, a whatever you call it a tensioner and then of course the car lock harness area and this is made of steel and this is made of steel chrome they're both chrome so let's measure and see how long it is so the bungee area to the dog harn um, harness area it's about one feet so from the bungee area to the other end is about one feet so the total length of, con of cord is about two feet and the dog uh, the car harness is about two and a half inches where the harness here is about three inches so with a total of about two feet and a few inches, this is a good amount of length for a dog that is medium sized. You can also, this is what the size of the length was when I measured it, when it came out the bag. So let's see how long it fully could extend to. So with the, the harness fully extended, the bungee area all the way to the end of the harness is about one feet which just gives you additional um, about two inches of length so from two 12 well 14 inches all the way down to let's see so to the minimum minimum it's about eight inches so eight inches to 14 inches in the terms of the length of this area so it's a good amount of length my dogs are about 40 pounds and they're Australian Shepherds and they're pretty long. So I'm gonna fully lengthen this and install this in my car and see how long it can go. I won't, I'll install it with my dogs inside the car. So I have my dog, Australian Shepherd, along with this seat belt for the dogs. So I'm gonna go install it now as I walk to my Honda Accord. Let's go. So my dog's in right now. So um, this is how long it is. And now we can install the, the dog belt into the thing. It clips in pretty, perfectly fine. And it's pretty long enough for the dog. And it goes in like that. So it's pretty secure. I would say it's secure enough for the dog. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll let you, I'll do it without the dog on though right now. So I'll put the dog out of the, the seatbelt. So I've taken my dog off of the leash. Um, so this is how long it is in the home of the It goes all the way to the door. When it's almost fully extended, I had it halfway extended, I guess you'd say. Um, it's secure into the seatbelt. So it's not gonna come off on the dog. And so I try to use this more often. Um, I like the, I don't, the bungee part, uh, I don't know about the bungee part for me, but it might be better for some dogs to kind of understand there's a tug to it, so it won't actually go and pull more. But yeah, I like the quality of the build and how secure this is. So it works with the standard seat belt for the Honda Accord. I think this is a standard for the US, so maybe, not sure. Overall, I really like this product for a car. I would definitely recommend it if you care about having a dog leashed and secure in the seatbelt so it won't jump out of your car. I had some dogs previously that jumped out of do the cars before when they were basically they don't know what's going on and they jump out of cars. Um, my dogs don't jump out of the car, but they stick their head out and and sometimes I worry about them opening up the window, which they do sometimes because they're kind of smart. Anyways, um, the build quality of this is definitely good. I like the build quality of this very, very much. Um, the cons of it, um, I don't know much of the cons. For me, the bungee, it's, it's okay. I don't like 
spongy in general because my understanding is that they don't last that long. But I think it's pretty good for a dog to know the threshold of a, a leash or a, a belt when they're secure to it. Overall, I'll definitely recommend it. I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Um, this wish still is more adjustable. And this part looked a little bit funky. I mean, it would be cool if you could have like a like a handle here so when you do take the car out of the, the dog out of the car, you can actually hold this as like a, a small leash for a bit. But yeah, that's not doable unless you do open up the strap in this part. Um, yeah, hope you like this review and hope to see you soon. Take care, bye.